Expectant mothers receive a lot of advertisement about storing their children's umbilical cord blood. Joining us today is Children's Medical Center pediatric hematologist and oncologist Dr. Paul Harker-Murray. Dr. Harker-Murray, what is cord blood banking? Cord blood is the blood that's in a baby's umbilical cord and placenta. Most of the time these tissues are discarded after the child is born, but a family can choose to save these tissues or the cord blood for future use. And why would that be important? Cord blood is very rich in a special kind of cell. These cells can be used in life-saving therapies for diseases like leukemia. Are all cord blood banks the same? No, there are private cord blood banks which charge the family a fee to collect and store their child's cord blood. In contrast, there are public cord blood banks like the Texas Cord Blood Bank which will do this service for free. The cord blood that's stored in a public bank is available to anyone who may need it. If I can afford it, shouldn't I save my child's cord blood just in case he or she needs it? The chance that your child would actually need their own cord blood is extremely low. Cord blood donation saves lives. But in order for a cord blood transplant to work, the donor and the recipient have to be as closely matched as possible. So we need as many people from as many different ethnic backgrounds to donate as possible. To learn more, visit children's.com slash your child's health.